So we have some very breaking news here. This goes a little bit about beyond what we usually talk about. <laughs> but it is so breaking that we have no choice, especially since you guys bring it up in Super Chats. Mr. Buttcrack Media says for yes. uh, two Canadian dollars 20, Tucker Carlson has left Fox. And what? while the media is celebrating that up and down like there's no tomorrow, minutes later, word broke that Don Lemon has been shit canned from CNN. And Unceremoniously. There's, there's, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's doubt about Tucker, Car Tucker Carlson, about whether he was forced out or if he left of his own volition. But in case of Don Lemon, he even put up a statement on Twitter, making no doubt that this came as a complete and total shock to him. So, yeah, Tom, can you bring up that statement and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it? Because I know this is what uh, I can tell from the comments. This is yeah, what you want. On fire. I think uh, Tucker's gone is part of the Dominion settlement. Uh, uh, hard to say because that Although he was wasn't the worst. Uh, it was that wretched blonde woman yeah it, it 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 i wouldn't i wouldn't jump to that conclusion i think that perhaps you know that was a co point of conversation but i don't know that that yeah. would work out we'll, it's we'll get pretty, into the to the yeah. why's and where's for us in a moment here oh so you're being <laughs> i like that first comment there like usual beat you by tucker beat you by one hour <laughs> <laughs> wow! But here then is the uh, is the statement from Don Lemon. So what we're seeing on screen here is not Tucker. This is Don Lemon, and Don he Lemon. says on his Twitter account, "I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned." After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. Mm. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalist in the business. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I wish them all the best. That's a good statement. Yeah, that's a that's a good statement right there. But uh, Don Lemon had a reputation for just saying incredibly stupid things. I mean, before even 2016, I, I way years ago when I used to watch CNN, you'd see Don Lemon and he would say the most. It was it was just inane, is what it was. It was like you think like. How did that come out of a professional journalist's mouth? He was always, I mean, he was a gaff machine. The fact that it took this long to finally get rid of him, I mean, I believe he was protected. Uh, and we know why. We know why Don Lemon was protected and lasted as long as he Because he was a twofer. He yeah. was a twofer. Oh, wow. I love that you put, that was so funny you put it that way, Paul. He was a twofer, <laughs> right? But he lasted that long but you know he should have been fired even before 2016 for some of the just insanely stupid things that he's said you know uh but yeah this isn't a surprise and well i would yeah. charge him with being a major character in dividing this country yes he is one of those types of people him and joy reed have, oh like, oh my god oh, she's, she's a twofer worse. also hey she's awful and every what's yeah. weird is what's weird about joy reed is I, I've never watched her show. I, I have clips. Okay. Well, yeah, I did watch when she started, but I've seen these clips. When has her hairstyle ever been the same for just one week? Every time I see her hair, it's radically different than the last time I saw her. It looks like a fruit basket. <laughs> um, it's the dumbest. It's called a wig. I don't know what it is, but she always has the most illogical insane i'm looking at pictures of her now like there's no way this person could have this hair from week to week and it not be no away. no and, and her hairstyle i'm sorry it's distracting yeah it's, it's distracting. bad and some of these you can really tell it's a bad wig like look at it's distracting for someone who, who is supposed it, to be doing the news i i will say that dawn took a bit of a turn that i i i could be wrong but after zaslav bought um warner his very left wing 
biases tended almost disappeared. And I watched a couple of uh, interviews where he got very combative and took the right side of things. Yep. And I'm thinking, yes, I've seen that. Have you seen that? Am I wrong? Yes, Am I, I, no. I do not imagine. No, it. because not I actually talked it. to somebody who's known Zaslov and, and his family and said flat out that Zaslov has always been very conservative. No, no, no. But I'm talking about Don Lemon. I'm oh, Don about Lemon. Don Lemon. I saw a sea change in terms of how he was interviewing people. And I thought, yes. is this my imagination? Well, no. he only he only went extremely hard in the paint starting back before the 2016 election. Prior to that, you know, he would say equally dumb things in both directions. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> he was an equal opportunity, uh, you know, equal dummy. Yeah, newsreader. Yeah, it, it, look, it, this doesn't surprise me. But what what is really amusing to me, and again, this is my takeaway because I, I, our time is brief. But um, my takeaway here is both of these things happened the same day, within an hour of each other, mm. and one of them was characterized one way as a mutual parting of ways, and the other one was a "you're freaking fired, bro." Peace. Totally different. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a really good point. And uh, who do you think is going to land on their feet quickest? I mean, how long do you think until we're going to hear that someone else has picked up T Tucker? Like, how long do you think until, until like, unless he has something lined up? Uh, Tucker has his own news network. The yeah, Daily. He's, uh, he's got his own news network already. Yeah. Well, if not, I was like thinking that the, the, that Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire are going to be on the phone. No, no, he's right got now. his own competing network to the Daily Wire already. Yeah, he's he's good, and not only that, it, this does. It's funny because you know I wouldn't often think that Chunk Uger would be all, you know right about anything all ever, but he actually suggests that Tucker could be running for office. What? I could see that. Yep. So and and it's like like you said, I mean, you never hear of him saying something that smart. So it's like hey, somebody must have told him that, that was a possibility. Tucker's an interesting character where I'll watch and I'll go, oh god, more of this, and then I'll go, uh, I actually agree with him. Damn. Okay, that's my that's the thing. And the, as the people are saying here in the comments, like he practically single-handedly blew the whole January sixth narrative to hell. Yes. I mean, that entire narrative that we've been told for years, he exposed it as complete bullshit, and to use your words, Chris. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel told me how he was full of shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I believe I'll, Don I'll said have to watch it. it. <laughs> as well, so, I've yeah. been staying away from January 6th stuff because as yeah. a Canadian, let's, I go, let's, let's not, not, not my country, not down. my problem. <laughs> Woo. The stock uh, price took a hit. Let me tell you, News Corp. Had smashed a little bit today oh, <laughs> after that announcement. Yeah, I, I, why would why would Fox do this? Because even though he may not uh, have uh, agreed with, uh, or he he may not have like stuck to all of the talking points that the network would have wanted, he was their big star. And well, unlike Don Lemon, Tucker actually had ratings. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, you, you just look at like the clips that kind of came out on YouTube afterwards. Tucker would have. Uh, would have like views in the millions, whereas Lemon, well, there would be like more views of independent channels making fun of him than the direct CNN clips. So, with him, with, with uh, Andre, I, I would say it's a dollars and cents thing. Uh, Lemon, uh, even though Variety uh, labeled him as one of the most popular faces, not the <laughs> biggest, not the biggest money maker, which was, I think, a really sneaky turn of phrase uh, in Variety. But that that would be typical of them. Uh, yeah. Lemon is costing CNN a lot of money. Tucker is costing a lot of money. Uh, my understanding is that Fox actually went out and got a loan, a Chinese loan, to pay off Dominion. They got, they got to get rid of. They got it's to expensive. get rid of. Well, they, they got expensive. a write down. They got a huge write down. Is what they got. Yeah. Mm. Well, the problem for them is that. Uh, you still need cash. How, how many? How many of their viewers were there not for Fox, but for Tucker specifically? Oh, yeah. And without Tucker, how, how? Why would anyone go to Fox? Well, and 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 Hannity is a shadow of himself, right? I mean, people went oh, yeah. for Tucker. Yeah, they, you're right. I mean, Hannity is not the pole he used to be. He's, no. you know, and in you know they they they've actually done this to themselves twice, where they pull their most popular. Their their most popular talking head off of 
the the, the network entirely. Um, you yeah, know, watch that's... out if Laura Ingram goes. Holy smokes, the entire network is going to collapse. You think that's true? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I'm like, oh, what is he talking? That was sarcasm. I, I need oh. to turn up my sarcasm. Yeah, yeah. You need to make it more recognizable. You know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, Don Don I, I think is just a, a dead weight, and Joy Reid is going to follow him. Well, and it, look, I mean, and, and here's here's their idea of rebound. By the way, I was wondering why the maneuvering was being done the way it was. CNN, uh, CNN, which is uh, WBD, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery, um, they put that Chris Wallace guy. They moved his show from Sundays to Fridays and buried it with the take out the trash time over on HBO. Oh. Then you today I like Wallace. today today he's terrible today he? they, did you see him anyway I'm not doing never that. mind never um, mind keep going yeah so so the, the, at the same time they they're bringing in Charles Barkley and Gail to to come in and and uh, and kind of rescue CNN I, I I can see you know I can the, see a basketball Chuck, player yeah I can see Chuck bringing yeah I can see <laughs> Chuck having some good perspective. Uh, I'm not a fan of Gale, so, but it's 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 weird because Fox is pulling numbers. CNN hasn't pulled numbers in forever. If you look at just you know picking a random day, Thursday last week, right, the twentieth, um, you know the five, which is their comedy news program, that was number eleven across the top fifty cable newscasts. It bring it 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 brought in, you know, two two point eight million people. You know, just just behind number 10, which is Tucker Carlson tonight at two point nine million people. It's the highest ratings in the demographic. It 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 trounced the demographic ratings, you know, even up against the NBA playoffs in round one. So as you start to look at these things, you know, Hannity had a pretty decent night that night, too, at about two point five million people. But, you know, it, it, CNN's nowhere to be found uh, it, at all. You they have to re- they have to find a way to repair CNN. Yeah, well, and they can't. I mean, they've been at this for a while, and I thought Licht would have it licked really fast. But when they brought him in, they, they still feel like they tied his hands, or somebody was telling him, "No, you can't abandon this audience that we, you know, crafted over the last six years because, you know, polarizing news is the o- news is the only way we can generate ratings." And I'm thinking. It, it really isn't, but you know, if you could just ha- get, get, regain your your uh, your reputation that you had in the you know '90s, that you you know were actually legitimate news, you you would be better off, you know. And that was supposed to be the mandate that Licht had, but he surely didn't follow it very quickly. So I just look at the I, like I said, I just look at the numbers, and I'm going PMS, NBC, and um, and CNN have a lot of work to do to catch up with uh, with their rivals. So. Well, you can say that they're off to a good start, though, because Tom Lemon, he was, um, let's just say that he was someone divisive. Uh, even oh, yeah. I, who was not in the States, was able to catch that. But uh, that he isn't merely a reporter of the news. He's part of the news and absolutely part of the partisan divide. So uh, here's what I see. Like, my impression, just uh, from an outside observer, not having Tucker on is going to hurt CNN because he was their big draw. But you mean, uh, if he's going to hit hurt Fox? Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's that's going to hurt hurt Fox to no longer have Tucker on. But getting rid of Don Lemon, if anything, is a step in the right direction for CNN because they just got rid of uh, one of their more divisive figures, whose mere presently uh, presence signals to to half the country that uh, your country that is uh, that uh, the news that are about to to be read up will be uh, will be fashioned in yeah. such a way that it'll be untenable for half the country i, I agree with andre as an outsider i found don lemon insufferable mm-hmm. it was really hard to watch him as as an outsider and as a liberal, I mean, uh, I'm going, wow. Yeah, so you're is... even on his side, and you still can't. No, couldn't. Yeah. No, no. I, I thought it, it was, his questions were horrible. I Whenever I watch a news person, I always say, okay, why aren't you asking these questions that are in my head? And, the, and Don Lemon never, well, never would the... answer. None of them ask, ask. Yeah, none of them ask questions. Anything, anything that they haven't handed over, you know, in the form of talking points before they even, you know, get to the interview. So it's like, okay, so he, these are the things you're allowed to ask this person, and that's it. So it just becomes a talking points, you know, regurgitated interaction. Well, American news overall, is, for instance, is less feisty than British news. 
I mean, you'll you'll get a politician on some British news program, and then the the uh, the announcer or the whatever won't. They, we'll, we'll just keep asking the same question until you know the the person on the hot seat answers the damn question well except except when they're disarmed like when you're you know questioning somebody like elon musk that bbc oh. guy got destroyed no oh, that 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 guy was a tool yeah i know thank you yes very yeah. well <laughs> now we have some feedback here fox stock is down four yeah. percent this is yeah. a this is a pretty big decline which only goes to show that there's wide agreement about uh, what we were just saying now that uh, mm -hmm. getting rid of Tucker that's going to harm yeah. Fox yeah. I don't know that uh, CNN uh, losing Don Lemon is going to uh, to be it's that visible in the share yeah, that'll raise stock <laughs> yeah it may be there as, as horrible as it is to say then yeah probably and then um natasha uh one of the uh one of the leading mods here says hit that like button get us to 600 likes yes indeed we are now almost 2500 watching so everyone please smash that like uh, whether you want to like that the lemon was uh, was fired or tucker was fired smash that like anyway and we'll sort it out as we go along here. Uh, and uh, with that, let us uh, move on to where we actually started, which is the main topic of today, which is what used to be the headlines of all of the entertainment trades before they all started celebrating the absence of uh, Tucker Carlson. No word on Don Lemon there yet. And they need to stop doing that. This war of gloating between the right and the left has to end. It, it's it's counterproductive. No one cares on, on the outside. This is true. And it's tiresome. And they don't realize how tiresome it is. Just do your jobs. Report on entertainment. Get the finances out. Well, uh, it's... I mean, I don't think they understand what what how we view it from the outside. Well, I, I I'll tell them myself. I get really tired of, you know, the back and forth between news networks. I'm like, look, yeah. you guys, people are going to watch you because you present the information either in the most digestible way or in, you know, the way that confirms somebody's particular bias. Because guess what? We no longer have actual news for the most part when it comes to the talking news readers, the talking heads, or, you know, they just... It just doesn't exist that much anymore. And when you get somebody who's willing to go out there and do something tough, whether it be the events that happened on January 6th or not, you know, it, it, that's that's few and far between, it seems, for somebody. Well, to the, the news readers are more interested in being celebrities and yeah. being the story. Well, they want to be the story. Go back to Brokaw and the others that popped up in that generation when, you know, they became the highest paid people at the networks. So, you know, it's that was a real problem and it didn't go away. So, yeah, speaking of being celebrities, I just want to jump a little bit in the queue here and do this super chat right away. Kathleen Kennedy says for five dollars, we would <laughs> love for Don Lemon to come work at Lucasfilm to write and star in a Star Wars movie for us. Yep. I think, um, that'll, I think as, as suggested in the chat, that'll interfere a little bit with his Rings of Power filming schedule, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Although.